Hello everyone, it's Shane Conto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Fist Fight, starring Charlie Day and Ice Cube. This was directed by Richie Keen, and I didn't have big expectations going into this movie. I was just hoping that I would laugh and just enjoy an absurd movie. This movie actually had a lot more going for it than I really expected. Unfortunately, the actual execution of the whole film wasn't the greatest and overall I think this is a decent movie. Now to talk about some of the specifics, Richie Keen does a decent job putting this film together. The pacing is very quick and has a lot of energy so this film doesn't feel like it drags at all but actually keeping a cohesive film and balancing a bunch of stories and characters it doesn't do the greatest job but overall this is something that's like oh it's an hour and 30 minutes it's not going to be like dragging on and on and on but overall I think the directing could have been done a little better in terms of the actual visuals the cinematography done by Eric Allen Edwards I was actually pretty satisfied with a lot of the shots in this film and I was actually really really happy with a lot of uses tracking shots and especially in the third act when we actually get down to the fight that we're going to have that actually was done really really well and the last third of this movie actually works a lot more than I really was going to expect it to and the fight was actually really well choreographed decently well shot there's some really cool shots going on in this sequence there were some choppy edits and like shaky cam where you couldn't see everything that was going on but for the most part it was actually really well done and this film as put together had a very interesting vibe to it so you're expecting okay this is just about two teachers that are going to have a fist fight this movie in its aesthetic and its shots and its music was treated like this was some kind of like epic showdown and how they use the camera works with like quick zoom ins and like jarring like close ups and stuff like that it really felt like it was upping the intensity of this film and I actually thought that was kind of cool where this movie really falls is the writing now the beginning third of this movie was well set up the last third I think actually had some really good payoff the second act of this film in my opinion is just garbage you get your main character who's supposed to be the person that you're following through this whole film because becomes so unbelievably unlikable that you're just like I want him to get beat up and honestly there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on and ridiculous just like it felt like really lagged in that second act which for a movie that's an hour and 30 minutes there shouldn't be any lagging honestly they should have cut some stuff well, honestly, the way that it was written through the second third of this film really didn't work, and that was really disappointing. But in terms of the characters, your main character, played by Charlie Day, is a mixed bag. There's parts where you really likeable and admire him and understand that he's a smaller guy, and it's hard for him to stand up for himself and have confidence. But then there's parts where he acts like a complete scumbag and you're just like, okay, now I don't really feel for you anymore. The character I was really surprised about was Ice Cube's character. Because he actually had some depth and motivations. He might have had some extreme anger management problems, but overall, he was actually had some depth and he got his motivations for doing the things that he was doing. Overall, in terms of the writing and the setup of this film, it was so over the top. I'm like, none of this stuff would actually happen in a high school, nor would anything get this far. And then I t took a step back and realized, which I'll talk about a little bit more when I talk about the themes of this film, which this was a lot deeper than I was expecting. It's actually an interesting over the top satire that's really trying to hit home on a particular point. Now the actual performances in this film, Charlie Day was hit and miss when he was reserved and making short snarky comments and stuff like that I actually really enjoyed him in doing that when he started getting obnoxious like I'm gonna yell everything 
it just took me out of the movie. Ice Cube was over the top, even more than he usually is. It's basically you take Ice Cube caricature and turn it up to 11, but there's parts that I actually thought he did a really good job and he was actually really funny. Jillian Bell, who hit a lot of funny jokes, but some of it just felt really awkward. She was hit or miss for me. Honestly, the most consistently funny person in this movie was Tracy Morgan, and he was actually really, really funny throughout this whole entire film. Christina Hendricks, completely wasted. I don't know why she was in this movie. I actually literally have no point of having her in this movie. The unfortunate thing that they did with a lot of the characters were basically none of the teachers were likable because they gave them character traits that just made them despicable, and then it's just like, why do we care? which was an underlying thing about why do we care that all these teachers are potentially getting fired, which, the bit of the setup, this film isn't just about some little quarrel and then they want to have a fist fight. All these teachers are about to be fired, potentially. And something that Charlie Day does gives Ice Cube real motivation for wanting to beat the crap out of him. And it's a hit or miss with that. And... Which is really disappointing because honestly this movie could have went a lot better than it actually wound up being. And I'm going to talk about some of the themes that it takes on. The big thing is it's a commentary on our current education system. And how there's no accountability. Everybody wants a trophy. There's no consequences. And honestly it was pretty on point with that. And that was actually really really well done. And it makes sense why this was so obnoxious and unbelievable situations because it was just trying to be an overtop satire and trying to dig at that theme and I think it did actually a pretty good job on doing that and music wise it wasn't super memorable music but I think that it really fit the vibe that the film was trying to do which was an epic like western style showdown between Charlie Day and Ice Cube. My closing thoughts and my basic, does this movie have it to be a great movie or even a good movie? I'm not going to go far as saying this is a good movie. I'm going to go far as saying this was a harmless hour and a half that I spent on a Sunday morning to go see this movie. I was fine seeing it. I laughed. I enjoyed some of it, but it did actually leave me a little disappointed because it actually had a lot more going for it than you might expect from just the very bland trailer that's like, I'm just going to fight you. And we're building up an hour and a half to just this fight. So I'm going to give Fist Fight a C-.